Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I have not done a handbag unboxing review video in forever. I don't think I've gotten like a new higher end bag in quite some time. And so I really wanted to do one of a new Cezanne bag that I got. And if you guys are new to my channel, I recently started getting into the brand, but I had been a low key far away lurker of the brand for quite some time. And so I'm so excited to be working with them now. This is something that they gifted me. So this is not a paid sponsorship video. They don't really even require me to post about anything unless I really, really love it. And so I was so excited about this specific handbag that I wanted to do an actual unboxing with you guys and we can open it up together. If you guys are not familiar with the brand Cezanne, they are a French styled brand and their pieces are so gorgeous. I have a couple pieces of their clothing and they are so high quality, so stunning, so classic, so elegant. Unfortunately, right now I am finishing out my second trimester of my pregnancy. And so I am limited on the things that I can get from Cezanne as far as clothing goes, which is why I decided to opt in for some accessories. So I actually got a pair of their leather sneakers and one of their handbags. I thought we could open up both of those, but this specific bag I have had my eye on. And like I said, I've been a long time kind of lurker of the brand. I had found them on Instagram and I saw a bunch of other like influencers and fashion bloggers like post about them. And it's always really resonated with my own personal style. I just had never taken the chance on the brand. For some reason, it's really hard for me to explore a new brand. I like to stick to the things that I'm comfortable with. So hopefully if you have also been a long time admirer of Cezanne, you haven't gotten anything from the brand, hopefully this video will ease those, I don't know, not like concerns, but just like wonders when you're ordering from a new brand, what's the ordering process like, what's the quality like, all that stuff. Hopefully this review will be helpful for that. Cezanne is known for their very beautiful packaged boxes and they also have the most beautiful seasonal packaging inside as well. So inside of the box here, we've got the bag and the shoe box. And it also has some writing on the inside. And let's just start with the shoes because I actually had to return the other pair that I got in the same shoe because they were slightly too small for me. So I'm normally a size six true to size. However, I believe that these do run a little bit small. So I went ahead and I exchanged them for a six and a half and the exchange process was super easy, but it was just one of those UPS drop off labels and it was super fast for processing my return and then I got the new ones shipped out but they are these beautiful off-white leather sneakers and I actually did try on the size 6 in a styling video I just didn't wear them out anywhere but they're stunning like I've already tried on the six so I know that they look really really good they were just a little bit too tight so this is a six and a half and I love the gold grommets here the cream laces the white soles it's like a two-tone between white and cream and they're just such an elegant stunning sneaker if you're looking for a sneaker that is a little bit more dressy than like an athletic sneaker I think these are so beautiful I wear my Everlane court sneakers to Death. I think those are honestly a little bit less dressy than these because these have the gold grommets Whereas the Everlane ones are a little bit less chic. They're a little bit more casual it's still a nice sneaker because they're leather But these are like another step up as far as like elegant and like nicer sneaker goes So I'll try these on for you guys so you can see they are so beautiful though I also love the interior color of these it's beautiful camel leather and the quality of these sneakers is so so beautiful. Also, the packaging on their boxes are so stunning. So these are the sneakers, and I am so glad that I went ahead and I just exchanged the other ones for a half size up because they fit perfectly. I got them on with my maternity pants and this cozy Jimmy Kane sweater, but I feel like they are so gorgeous for a sneaker. So I feel like these you could wear with dresses or with like nicer pants or trousers. I mean, I wear my Everlane court sneakers with trousers and dresses as well, but I feel like because these have a gold detailing on them, they just look a little bit more dressed up. I love these. They're also like 
pretty dang comfortable for a leather sneaker. I feel like they're gonna break in so, so nicely. So now on to the handbag. So this is the Milo handbag and I also got the little dust bag, I think for the shoes and a leather conditioner for the bag also came in the box. So this is what the box looks like. It's this beautiful, beautiful green with a gold lettering on it that is just, like I said, so elegant. Everything from Cezanne is just so, so elegant. And inside of the box here, we've got a dust bag. This is the dust bag here. This is the Milo Classic in Natural Heritage. On the front here, we've got on and i cannot tell you guys how excited i have been for this bag since i placed my order i have literally checked tracking every single day to see if it had shipped when it was going to arrive i have looked at my order multiple times to just gawk over this bag because it is so stunning and i just this color guys, I went with the deeper, darker, rich brown and this is so beautiful. This is what the bag looks like and it's so stunning, very smooth leather and it has a gold hardware here on the front. So I'm gonna peel this off. Look how pretty that is, oh my gosh. And then you just push this button here to open the bag and it slides up. Now this is the type of leather that will definitely scratch. So just know that with a bag like this, you are gonna wanna be really, really careful with it. One, if you don't want it to scratch, but two, just know that that's the nature of this type of smooth leather. They also did have a leather conditioner or a leather balm that I think you can use on it. So if you want to kind of like buff out some of those very shallow scratches, you should be able to do it with that. But it is a very, very smooth, smooth leather. So just keep that in mind, but it is so stunning. The inside is like a suede. The quality of this it is so good. Like this bag at Celine would literally be $4,000 probably. Or what is it like 3,600 for their bag that's pretty similar to this. This one is under 500, which is still a lot, but given the actual quality, like you can smell the leather quality. It's so, so nice. They also come in a bunch of different colors. I just, I loved this warm tone, rich brown though. I thought this was so stunning. And I love how it's not marked up with a bunch of logos. Like it doesn't say Cezanne all across the front. It is very, understated it's very elegant it's what we would call a quiet luxury and it just feels really really nice so the interior of the bag has three compartments so you have your main compartment here in the middle which is the biggest compartment then you have two smaller compartments here that are like accordion style so one there and then one in the back so inside here we've got the tag and also it does say this is on Paris in there if you guys can see but so so pretty and then this is the strap what i love about this bag is that you can actually shorten the strap to where it's like a shoulder bag like this but then you can also drop the strap out and wear it as a crossbody it reminds me a lot of my celine ava bag i love that you can drop the strap out so this is the strap fully out and you can wear as a crossbody i'll show you guys standing up what it looks like but i want to show you guys the rest of the bags so the back here has another pocket everything is very stiff right now this is a very structured stiff bag i do believe with a genuine leather like this that it will stretch out it will soften a little bit but for the most part it's gonna stay Pretty structured, but that's what I really liked about it is it just felt very clean cut, very classic, very smooth, and it's just so beautiful. The interior is also lined with a black cotton fabric. And then the front of this main compartment actually has two smaller pockets here, if you guys can see. So you do actually have a good amount of storage. You've got this back slot here, you've got this big middle compartment, you've got a front small slot here, and then you've got the back pocket as well well this is the bag worn as a crossbody and i am 
five foot two just for reference it hits in a really great place actually such a good good length could wear it over a really thick coat or wear it just like over a tank in the summer such a good size though i love the size of this bag on me i feel like this is perfect for my frame it's like not too big not too small it's like the perfect medium size i love this so much and then this is the bag down by my side again really good length can still get to the buckle and unclip it easily which is very convenient and then you can shorten the strap to a couple different length settings so this is the longer shorter strap like this good little longer kind of shoulder bag i really like this length too i love a good shoulder bag so i really really like that you can do both and then you can shorten it even more here and wear it like so and wear it as a shorter shoulder bag so you've got quite a few different options i love that yeah you can wear it over the shoulder like this or you can wear it as a crossbody depending on what style you want but so cute i think it comes in black and cream this natural dark brown and then i think it also comes in a lighter creamier tan i love the dark brown i wear a lot of really light colors like a lot of creams a lot of beiges so i feel like having a darker bag like this just adds some contrast but this specific shade of brown looks so good with black as well so i am very very excited about this i think it looks so good and again it's like the perfect perfect size on me i'm gonna go ahead and load her up because i'm just i'm so excited to carry this so right now i'm actually carrying my chanel medium flap in the crave leather and this is like one of my favorite bags ever but i am really really excited to switch over to this beauty it's a little bit more of a warmer tone brown we can do what's in my bag so First up, got my card holder wallet. I've got a pouch of lip balms. Honestly, there's like four lip balms on here. A Glossier U Perfume and a Merit Complexion Stick in here. You know, just the essentials. And then I'll have a Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss because you can never have too many lip products. Tarte Cosmetics, got my keys. Tarte Cosmetics foundation powder because I gotta cover up my pregnancy acne during the day. Glossy hand cream and a small hairbrush for my bangs. So I'm gonna go ahead and load her up here with all of my things. And I feel like this bag is actually a little bit bigger than I had thought it was gonna be. I mean, it fits literally everything so easily. I guess I could turn that that way. I had everything vertical in my Chanel bag, but basically that's everything in there. I don't have anything in this back pocket or the other front pocket. I wonder if like the back pocket would be a good place for, for my phone. Okay, so that's with my phone in the front pocket here. So it's my phone. Everything else is loaded up. Holds quite a bit actually. It's definitely bigger than I thought that it was going to be. And I love that even though you stuff it full and expand it, it's still clasps so easily which i feel like sometimes these ones with like the buckles are really hard to close if you've actually got the bag full but this is the milo bag and if you like this style of bag i would highly highly recommend it i truly cannot believe how easily it holds so much stuff and yet it's so structured i just feel like sometimes these really really stiff structured bags are not that functional but this one is actually so functional in the fact that it closes up so nicely with my phone and everything else from my other bag it's just the perfect size medium flat bag and it's so classic and elegant and i'm so excited to have this in my bag collection i will be wearing this for years like this is the type of bag that can just hold on to for so long because the leather quality is 
that good. So if you have looked at this bag, consider this bag, take this as a green light, that it is so stunning in person. You will not be disappointed in the quality of it. The size is really, really great, whether you're a petite like me, being five foot two, or if you are on the taller side, I feel like it is just a really, really good medium sized bag and hold everything that you need, but it isn't like huge. So this is such a gorgeous, piece i'm so excited obviously you guys probably could tell that i am just so thrilled about this bag that it lives up to everything that i thought it would be and it's just it's so beautiful like, i just love looking at it in the viewfinder because i just think it's so elegant but i will have it linked down below in the description box if you want to check it out but if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below if you found this review helpful but if you want to stick around for some more videos be sure to hit that subscribe button i would love to have you back on my channel and i'll see you guys in my next one really really soon bye guys